So chances are things aren't always going to work out the way you expect them to. But that's OK, because there's three keys to a good mindset. And this is going to govern everything you do, especially when it comes to real estate investing. So I recently just got back from an event that our company held, and it was great. We talked about real estate investing. We talked about tax liens and deeds. And we talked about just how to build your business, how to network, how to talk to people. But one of the biggest things that was stressed on the weekend, and this is one of the biggest things in my life that I've seen, is mindset. So what is mindset? I'm going to tell you what it is, and I want to, I want to just give you the brief, the overview of it. You know, there's other things that you can do. We have other things that you can check out that, are, that go deeper into it. But mindset is quite possibly the number one thing that you need to master in order to be successful at something, especially something like real estate, tax liens and deeds. There's just no way that you can be successful in things without a good mindset. You know, there's so much happening in the world right now. It's kind of scary sometimes. And if you let that get you down, if you let that sink deep into your mind, chances are you're not going to succeed. You're not going to be able to get through. I know in my own life, the days where I let that stuff get the best of me, you know, you're on Facebook and you see all these like world is ending posts and everything's going to crap and you just, you just feel like garbage. There's just no way for you to feel hopeful with all that feeding into your mind. So what do you do? What's the solution? It's in the news. It's on Facebook. Your friends are talking about it. There's gossip. There's this, there's that. What do you do? Well, you got to start to get rid of it. There's just no way around it. You have to feed your mind with stuff that enlightens you, that, that feeds your soul, that makes you feel good. And I'm not saying that you need to ignore the world. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you just stop listening to the news, although that's what I, I've done that before, and it's very helpful for me. But maybe you're someone who likes to keep up on current events. But the important thing is, is like to control that, to like feed that to you when you're ready for it. Don't wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is like scrolling through your iPhone. You're like, oh, the world's blowing up today. The apocalypse is happening. Oh, well, I guess today's useless because that's not going to get you anywhere. The problem with that is it starts your day off terribly. So mindset tip number one. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? I've got, I've got no agenda on this. So mindset tip number one. We know mindset's great. Number one, start your day off right. When you wake up in the morning, don't look at your phone. Leave your phone on your bed if it's your alarm. Turn off your alarm, get up, take a deep breath, maybe grab a bottle of water. I got one on my bed here. I'm in, I'm in this hotel uh, in Austin. I've got a bottle of water on my bed right there. And drink that. Go take a shower or go for a run. But whatever you do, don't check your phone first thing in the morning. It's going to be tough to break that habit. I promise it'll be tough. But it's going to start your day off right. And even if you can do something like meditate or just pray or think, whatever, whatever it is that you want to do, Read even reading like a like a helpful book, that would even be better. So that's such a powerful way to start your day off right. Mindset tip number two, which is I kind of already said this, but just stop, just stop trying to soak in all the bad that comes out. You know, stop listening to people, the naysayers and the people who say this can't be done or that can't be done. Especially when it comes to something like real estate investing, for instance, tax liens and deeds. There's going to be people that have no idea what they're talking about or they've been burned by real estate or they've taken a, a class and they haven't taken action or they found a, like a bad deal or they got caught in something bad. They're going to be the naysayers and whether it's them or the politics around you or it could even be your family, it could be your friends, like you got to let that stuff, you got to let that stuff go. If you hold on to it too much, then it just becomes something that bogs you down and you start to internalize that. And then you get this view on the world that's just like, oh, the world's ending. Oh, woe is me. Like, how am I supposed to do this? And it's a heavy feeling. It's a heavy feeling getting caught in that. So that's tip number two. Just kind of listen to what the naysayers are saying, because sometimes they have good points. But don't, don't engage with it. That's a big one, too, especially if you're on Facebook. Oh, my goodness. You just want to comment or reply to everybody like, well, this is my view, and I believe this and this and this. Those are the people, <laughs> we call them trolls because they just they sit behind their computer and they troll. And maybe you're one of those people. I know I've been one of those people in the past, but when I let that go, when I, when I let that slide by, sl slid? When I let that slide by and like I released that, it really helped my brain kind of create space for the, for the new things that, that, were, that were supposed to be there. And mindset tip number three for today in this video is fill your brain with positive stuff. For, the, for goodness sake, 
Like even when you wake up, like you drink, drink your water, don't check your phone, you know, you're avoiding the naysayers. But tip number three is just fill it with good stuff. You know, what is something good that you could be reading right now? Maybe it's a real estate investing book. Maybe it's a tax lien deed investing book. Maybe it's something that enriches you. Like maybe you just love Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes. I'll admit it to everybody. It's like one of my favorite things. I, I read that. Actually, I have the audio book. It's like 80 hours long for the full version, but I'll put it in and I'll just sit there. I'll just listen to it. I can visualize it in my head and Sherlock's like, oh, Watson, yes, we're going around. That's my Sean Connery voice, but it's just something that enriches me. And if it's not, Fiction, maybe it's, um, maybe it's like a productivity book, or maybe it's like a Tony Robbins book. Maybe it's something kind of a little more on the self-help spectrum. That's fine. We all need to hear positive self-talk every once in a while because heaven knows we're, the, we're our worst critics, right? You and me both. Um, we're gonna find reasons to not do stuff and we're gonna, we need to adjust the talk in our brain that tells us that we can't do this or we can't do that. And it's so important to just feed your brain with positive information, so. Yeah, it's just those three things are so important. You know, I could speak forever on them and we go through a lot of those in our training and we unpack them and it's like, it's, in, it's engulfed in all the videos that, that I do and that our company does. Um, and yeah, so I'll just recap for you really quick. One, when you wake up for a better mindset, don't look at your phone. Try it for a week. If you, if you can't stand it, then just, that's okay. I won't, I, won't, I won't blame you, but at least you tried it, all right? Have a bottle of water by your head too, by your bed, by your head. Have a bottle of water by your bed so you can drink that. Tip number two, just let the naysayers go. If you see a comment on Facebook, here's an actionable step for you. If you see a comment on Facebook that you really feel like enraged by, like, oh, I need to do this, that's a sign that it's like getting under your skin and that you need to learn to let that stuff go because that's the stuff that can just build up and build up and you just get angry and that's when you not start to see things unclearly. So just let it go. Maybe it's only the first three times, and then the fourth time you write a crazy message in a response, or you call a friend and be like, blah, 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 blah. But just practice that art of self-control, of letting stuff go. And the third and final tip for today is fill your brain with something good, whatever that is to you. Maybe it's a book you've always wanted to read, maybe it's a book that you've heard about, it's on productivity, maybe it's on business, maybe it's on real estate, tax liens and deeds, maybe it's on exercise. You know, there's tons of great books, and if you want any suggestions, well, here's a, just a suggestion for you. Maybe it's on finance, Richest Man in Babylon. We talked about that a lot at our event this past weekend, and I've read it once, I'm gonna read it again, but that really, like, that was the book that made me realize I need to start investing in something. Like, for me, I'm 28, but I knew I needed to start investing now, and I didn't have the money to invest. That's the, that's the thing, I didn't have it. But I was like, well, I have to make it somehow. So I took, I started putting away, like, 100 bucks a month, and I found out, you know, like I spent a lot of money on coffee, spent a lot of money on things that I might need, but it was, it's urgency, it's urgency. The quicker I can get my money working for me, the quicker that I can start to build that compound interest and make more money, which if you read The Richest Man in Babylon, which I suggest you do, you'll learn all about it. It's great, it's fantastic. I wish I could remember the story so I could tell you one right now, but I, I can't remember them. But read The Richest Man in Babylon. I'll actually put a link below that you can click and, and you can see it. It's like eight bucks on Amazon or something like that. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get that. Especially because it'll change completely your mindset on uh, finances and investing and using your money to create more money, to create more money, to have babies to create more money. <laughs> it's really awesome. So that was today's video. Uh, get out there, do stuff. If you want inf more information, you know you're in the right place. All you gotta do is just stay here, take action. Change your mindset, take action, and you know the world's yours, and you're gonna succeed. Talk to you guys soon.